when you hear these comments, Rec, this has obviously become a huge story, not just what Javi Baez said yesterday, what Francisco Lindor said earlier in the season. He's been asked about getting booed multiple times. Lindor is obviously a big part of this. How does all of it reflect on this Mets clubhouse? I think it says that there's some kind of a, a lack of leadership here. And when I say that, I'm not trying to attack anyone in particular, but realistically, uh, we talked about this last week. I mentioned accountability and that these guys needed to be accountable for what their performance was out there on the field. They needed to accept where they are, who they are, what they're doing, and then move from there. Um, and in some sense, this almost seems like a deflection of that. Instead of taking the accountability and trying to own it and then get better from it, it's, it's a deflection of kind of what their performance has been. Jim, uh, there's precedent here. Ray Ordonez had some quotes. That's Sal's favorite player about the fans when, when you were with the team. What would you do then? Well, we went to Ray on our own, uh, both from front office and addressed it to him and basically said, listen, knock it off. You're not going to win that battle. Uh, you know, and, and that's not anything that should even be, even though you may feel it, you can't say it. We also sent leaders among the team a uh, guy like Edgardo Alfonso and others up to him to reiterate what we had talked about. And he pouted for a little bit, but in the end, you know, it ended up being the right thing and it was the right message. I'm going to say this as a, a former player. Nobody wants to get booed. Everybody wants to go out there and play well. At the same time, I don't think any fan wants to boo. So the, the point is, a, as a player, you have to own the fact that you have not been doing well, and then you have to go out there and, and figure out a way to, to switch it up to change it, to turn it around. Um, and at sometimes, you know, look, during the course of a season, you need something to deflect some negative energy. So you create things. You know, I remember the towel waving that we used to do. And there were other things that we did to try to ha just have fun every day on a daily basis. And, you know, if you want to talk about the fans booing you and how hard it is and, and you want to make light of it, that's fine. I honestly think that's okay to do in the clubhouse. But to go out there on the field and do this and then have someone say, well, we're booing the fans, that just doesn't come across well. It's not going to sit well, and it's not a good idea for anyone to do that in any market, especially in New York.